everybody, today I am doing another era specific makeup tutorial and today I am focusing on the 60s and obviously this is a more like twiggy inspired mod 60s look. Uh, it's just a little bit different than the 60s look I did a million years ago and now my equipment is better and the lighting is better so you can actually kind of see what I'm doing so I thought I would redo it and do it a little bit differently. So let's do this. So to start with, I'm covering my entire lid from brow to lash with this white sugar pill eyeshadow called Taco. Now I'm going to take this Gwen Stefani palette by Urban Decay. Yes, I've been using this a lot, but I'm loving it and it's got so many good colors in it, so whatever, I'm going to keep using it. But I'm using this color called Siri. Ah, it's my finger. <laughs> I'm using this color called Sirius and it is just a really, really dark gray color. You can use black, but I like to use gray because it's a little bit less um, aggressive. And I'm just using a little pointy brush. And I'm just going to draw a line. Now you want to make sure that it is a little bit above where your crease is because if it's actually in your crease and when your eye is open you won't see it at all. So you want to make sure it's at least a little bit above your crease so that you actually see it. And also try to make it really round. You don't want that sort of like wingy shape because that's more of the um, 50s sort of shape. And you only want to go as far down as your eyeliner is going to go so that this little guy doesn't go any farther down than your little eyeliner point. And if you want, you can blend it upwards or you can just leave it a solid line. The solid line is sort of like more super mod, more traditional, and then blending up gives you more of a beauty look. And if you get any fallout on your cheeks, just rub it away with your little fluffy brush. Make sure it is a big fluffy brush. If you use anything that's really compacted, you're just going to ground it into your skin. And when you get here, try to taper it into a little point. Okay, now I'm going to do my eyebrows. And I'm actually going to use the same eyebrow products that I always use or usually use. This is Anastasia Beverly Hills' Dip Brow Pomade, and I'm just using an angled brush. I'm just going to do my brows a little bit thicker than I usually do them. And I'm also trying to make them a little bit rounder than I usually do. I have a really natural sort of um, 50s shaped eyebrow, so sometimes it's hard to get them more round or more flat, but you just want to do a little bit. So now I'm going to do my eyeliner, and I'm actually using this L'Oreal Infallible Super Slim Eyeliner. This is just a good alternative eyeliner for you girls that aren't so skilled with the liquid yet. It is actually a felt pen, but it's very, very fine, and it's nice and saturated with liner, so it really comes off nicely. So I'm just going to draw a thin line starting on the inner corner of my eye, and then I'm going to work outwards, getting thicker as I work out, and then I'm going to just bring my eyeliner to a nice little point. I'm not actually going to wing it, I'm just going to point the end of it. So now I'm just going to put some mascara on my top and my bottom lashes. Just be careful on your bottom lashes that you're not actually putting mascara on your waterline because you're going to put some white liner there. Now I'm using Obsessive Compulsive's white eyeliner. It is called Feathered and it's just a white eyeliner pencil. And I'm just going to fill in my bottom waterline. Now I'm going to take the same Gwen Stefani palette and I am taking this black color called Blackout. And I'm going to use this to draw on my little under lash lashes. Now you can use fake bottom lashes. Fake bottom lashes, in my humble opinion, are very uncomfortable and they're hard to apply and they're hard to keep on. So just drawing your little nubbies are so much easier and they'll last longer, especially if you set with a makeup spray. So I'm just using a really fine pointed brush and I'm just starting on the outer corner and then just drawing these in. And you're really just drawing your lines straight down, no curve in them. And I don't go all the way in because I want them these to make my eyes look really big. So if you go all the way in, it's going to close your eyes up. So doing them just on the last like two-thirds of the eye makes your eye look big and doll-like. Now I'm going to do some lashes. And these are just some crazy little doodads from Sugar Pill. They make really awesome, crazy little doodad type eyelashes. They do everything like rhinestones and weird joker lashes and all kinds of things. So these are actually really perfect for the 60s look because they have that really sort of fringy 60s shape. So I'm just going to apply these the way I apply all my eyelashes. So once those are on, I'm going to do my blush. And I actually right now don't have a blush that I really love that is sort of pink enough because I really want a light, light, light baby pink. So I'm actually going to use this eyeshadow. It is called Harajuku. It's just a nice, good, super, super, super light baby pink. You don't want anything that's too dark because this look is really soft and you kind of want your blush to match your lipstick. If you don't have blush that matches your lipstick, you can actually use your lipstick on your cheeks also. So I'm just going to go right on the apples and I'm just doing just enough to give me just a little bit of a flush. 
not anything too dramatic. So now I'm going to apply my lipstick, and I'm just using this NYX NYX Cosmetics lipstick. The color is Strawberry Milk. It's just a nice, really light pink. I'm not using a lip liner with this, I'm just gonna apply it straight to my lips. And the good thing with the 60s looks is that a lot of the girls back then actually did have little lips like me, so if you are a little lip girl, don't fear, the 60s were made for you. Don't feel like you have to overdraw your lips at all. But this is it, my little 60s mod inspired look. Now obviously, I gotta do something with this floppy do, so I am going to do a hair tutorial which will be up next week which will be a super awesome 60s mod inspired bubble flip. So thank you guys for watching. I hope that you um, found this useful. And definitely subscribe if you want to see more of my era specific hair and makeup tutorials. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.